Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new on this channel, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am the man that God uses. I bring you a fresh word today in Jesus' precious name. The Lord says someone is in tears over you. Someone is crying so much. He's in deep tears over you. A couple of weeks ago, the Lord spoke to me about those that leave you. You know, as a pastor, I have had to deal with a lot of people walking out of the ministry at one point in time or the other. As a matter of fact, if you do not want people to leave you, you don't want to go because it's a, it's a, it's a current, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a flow. People go in, people go out. That's what makes them people. And the Lord began to teach me about this phenomenon, about letting people free to do what they want to do and let the people who see your value stay around you. As I began to meditate on this, I realized that we are stuck. Many times we are stuck in the grief of the people who leave, not knowing that the people who leave make room for others to come in. People come into your life for various reasons. People come into your life for various seasons and also for lessons, right? There are times where we try to keep people in our lives longer than they are supposed to be. So the God brings this set of people into your life for a certain time to help you go through a certain season, either for you or for them, right? And then the time passes and they need to move on. New people need to come in with new inputs, with new personalities and all that. So if you are stuck with, oh, I wanted this person in my life, and you can miss what God is doing per time. But now this is the downside of this concept of this theory, whatever you want to call it. The downside is that there are people who are irreplaceable. And I don't know about others, but I know about myself. I know about you. I cannot know about the people who live your life. But I know that you have over the years tried to build yourself to be this reliable brand. Just someone that people can, that can, people can rely on. You're working hard on yourself. You believe in yourself. You know how great you are. I always say that those who leave you, it's their loss. It's not a loss to you. It's a loss to them. Because there is never another person in the world that is like you. Nobody in the world is like you. There are people who come a little close, but not exactly. Because we all have our different inputs. Right? We have our unique that's the word i was looking for thank you holy spirit we have our unique inputs and nobody can put in what you can put in so back to our prophetic word the lord showed me somebody who is in deep tears because of you they have lost you they have lost their opportunity for um to be in to be in your life and for you to be in their lives maybe because of wrong choices that they made Maybe because they were embarrassed of you at the time when God was still working on you and they were not able to be patient to stand there until you have gone through your process. Now you are, you are shining. You are coming out to be this amazing gift of God to your nation, to your generation. And they are sitting back and looking at it and wishing that they were still there. Someone is hurt. Someone is crying. And sometimes they're going, to try, they're going to try to come back to you to tell you, oh, I'm sorry mm, for, you know, the mistakes that I made walking out of your life. Remember, most of the people who leave your life don't come back because they're truly sorry. They come back because they miss what you were giving to them. They miss the feeling of being around you. And sometimes that feeling is so selfish that it's centered around them and not you. Be careful the way you admit people back into your lives who left you. We see a scenario like that in the Bible where Paul and Barnabas had to fight over John Mark. 
Barnabas said, let us go with John Mark. And Paul said, no. I'm not going with this brother. This brother deserted us. He left us when we were in crisis. He left us when we were in pain, in penury. So Paul decided to go with Timothy and Barnabas decided to go with John Mark. And guess what? That was the last time we heard about Barnabas in the Bible. When Abraham decided to move with Lot, he saw a lot. When Abraham decided to take Lot, he saw a lot. So the people that are in your boat are so important. The people you are traveling life with are so important. Be careful how you admit people back into your life. That's what God is telling you today. You have to be careful. You have to think twice and thrice and more and more and more. You have to pray. You have to ask the Lord, are you in this? Do you want me to do this? Are you, are you, do you want me to do this? Is this your will? You need to ask God. You know, I am here in a state of prayer for you that God will die, will direct your path. God will guide you. He will guide you. God will give you the wisdom to deal with the people that are trying to come back into your life. How do you handle them? Who do you decide to let back in and who do you decide not to let back in? I'm praying that God is really going to help you on that. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying that the hand of God is going to rest on you mightily. I'm praying that God will do you good. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Before I let you go, family, I want to remind you that people come into your life for seasons, for reasons, and for lessons. If they want to walk out, let them walk. Sometimes, one man's exit is an invitation to better. Sometimes, one man's exit is an invitation to better. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. And the Lord give you peace. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you receive this word with gladness? I love you. And shalom.